another exciting episode from Ken Training. Today's training, what we're going to do is I've got a Lars boiler behind me, and I want to go through and test the safeties of this boiler to make sure that it is operating safely. So right now, the boiler is on. You can see that it's on. I've got the natural, I put some lights there to tell you that the natural gas valves are, are on. So the first thing that I want to uh, test would be the low water cutoff. So I'm going to take you over there. All right, this is the low water cutoff. I'm going to click the test button. Okay, the yellow light came on. I'm going to remove the test button and I could hear the flame shut off. Now the boiler should be going through a startup sequence again because that was just in simulating a low water cutoff. All right, you can see that the lights are off on your valves. Your boiler control, which is this item, still has the light on right there telling me that there's still a call for uh, hot water. So the hot water should still come on. So after we go through a start up on this and these uh, gas, the natural gas is back on, we'll continue to test that low water cutout again. Okay, the gas valves just opened up, so we got the boiler is back in service. We can see all the lights that are on. Now we're going to go back to that, that hot water, I mean the low water cutout. Okay, now this time I'm going to hit the test button. Okay, the yellow light came on, the boiler shut off, I could hear it shut off, but this time I'm holding this button down for 30 seconds. Then we should go to a lockout. It should change from yellow to red, and then it will, will require the reset button over here to be depressed to get a start out of the system. So I'm gonna I'm still holding that button down. And I'm just waiting. Okay, there we are. I released the test button, and now it's locked in the off position. This is the reset. Now I'm going to hit the reset button. Okay, I've cleared the faults, and the boiler should now go through another startup sequence. Okay, the boiler is going through a startup sequence. Again, gas valves are not on yet, but they'll be coming on in a second. So the first most important item, one, one of the very most important items we wanted to test was that low water cutout. The next very important item we want to test is the pressure relief valve, which is located right there. So what you do is you just take it, for about that long and now water should be coming out the other side of the drain all right there's the drain right there and you can see that that's just the remnants of what came out so the uh, pressure relief valve pressure safety relief valve is working which is a good thing um, that's uh, very important let me just come back here yeah, one thing, the, the, the probably one of the most uh, important safety devices here is the pressure relief valve and then the low water cutout. Those two items are, if you have a low water situation and the boiler doesn't shut off, that's when it becomes a bomb. Those are the two most important safety devices on the boiler and on an annual inspection, you want to make sure that those are operating properly. So the low water cutout's working good and the manual uh, safe, pressure safety relief valve is working fine too. So now let's move on and test some more safeties. All right, the boiler is going through a startup sequence right now. You can see the gas valves are open. There are two air cooling switches here. There's one here and there's one right here. Did you see that? I popped that out and you saw the flame shut off. We 
which is what it's supposed to do. Now the boiler is going through another startup sequence. After it starts up, we'll go ahead and test the left hand side. Okay, here we go. You can see that the lights are on. I'm going to pull out this there. Actually, it just took out that one natural gas valve. It's, that one apparently just does the left hand side, but that did work. I'll go ahead and put that back. And that came back on. So that Apparently that proving switch is just for this left hand side. That one over there will do all do the whole boiler and take the whole boiler down. So those are those two safety devices. Alright, the next thing that we want to test is the thermostat and the high temperature cutout switch right here. These two devices. The thermostat is set for 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, over here is a compound gauge. Let's see if you can see it. It's a combination gauge. It tells you pressure and temperature. All right. The red is the temperature. Can't quite see the scale in Fahrenheit, but right now it is... Actually, it's 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be cutting out here soon because the thermostat is set to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's probably going to be cutting out here in a moment. So what I'm going to do, let me just bring that back. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lower that and see at what temperature it cuts out at. Actually, the boiler on its own just took out the left hand stage. You can see that the light is on for the stage on the right. This there is the gas valve for the left half of the boiler. So right now the boiler is down to 50% of its capacity. Right, and now it just came back on so it's cycling. Let's see what that temperature is. Now you can see it's climbing again. The pressure going through the pipe is on the outside blue scale. That's about 20, 23 pounds of pressure. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the uh, set point here and I'll get the whole thing to cut out. Okay, you see that? Right now it is at uh, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, the whole thing cut out. Now, I'm going to bring that temperature back up. I've done is I set the therm the thermostat right there. I set that to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this to come online, warm up the loop, and then I'm going to lower the high temperature cutout to make sure that that trips out the system. It's currently set at hold on. It's currently set at 220. might be too aggressive 
maybe we'll lower that down to 200 when we're done here. Okay, right there you can see that I've got the boiler coming online. So now we've got flame back in the boiler. You're going to start to see that rise. Look how quickly that rises. That really comes up quick. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this until that red button pops. Alright, so there you go. I'm going to lower that down. And you should see that button pop out. Okay, right there. Everything shut off. I set it set for about 180. You can see the burners have shut off. And let's see if you can see that. It's about 180 degrees Fahrenheit is when it shut off at. Alright, so now I'm going to bring that up. I think I'll put that to 200. I don't think it needs to be 220. Just start it off again. Okay, the boiler has started back up. You can see all the valves are open over, uh, open for the natural gas. I have set the thermostat to 160 degrees, and I set the high temperature cutout to 200. I think those will be fine. that I can test here is the flow switch. Oh, the boiler just cut out because it's on, uh, it made set point. I'm going to have to bring that set point up to test this next point. So let me bring that up. Alright, I just set it to 180 to, to, to get the uh, the boiler to come back on. Once the boiler comes back on, I'm going to test this flow switch right here. There's paddles in the back. On the red wires right there is uh, 24 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the boiler to start up. Then I'm going to move the paddle uh, that, that, the, that the, is connected through through linkage on the spring, and I'm going to move that with my finger, and it should trip out the boiler. Okay, the boiler is started up. You've got all your natural gas valves are back open again. So now I'm going to come over to here. All right, here's the flow switch, and I'm going to test it right now. Take my finger back here. Okay, there it is. I had to fight that that water pressure, but the boiler just cut out. There, your valves have already uh, closed off. Now the boiler is probably going to do an auto start. So I'm just going to sit here and wait and see if we go to an auto start or if that locks out. All right, the boiler is starting up, on, started up on its own automatically. So now that the boiler has done that, I want to put that set point uh, back to normal. So let me put that to 160 degrees. Okay, so you have seen me test the manual safety relief valve, number one. The low water cutout, number two. I tested the two uh, air pressure switches or sail switches, so that's number four. I tested the, the water flow switch, and that was uh, number five. And pretty much, oh, and I also tested the operating thermostat and the high temperature cutout thermostat. 
uh, tested all of that. And then I made sure all the controls were set back to the normal temperature, which in this case I'm going to circulate at 160 degrees with a high temperature cutout of 200 degrees. And that pretty much is it. This boiler is uh, very safe to operate. It's working good. It's working normal. And uh, these are the safeties that you want to test on an annualized basis. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click the like button underneath so I can get some extra likes. And of course, check out my training uh, videos on my channel on YouTube, which is Ken Training. And, uh, and that's it. Thank you for watching.